Welcome to History Paradise, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing facts about the world. In today's episode, I will be telling you about World War I, how it started, hero dogs, and how it affected the world. Part 1. How did it start? World War I, or the Great War, started after Serbian Gavrilo Princip shot and killed Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Franz Ferdinand was next in line for ruling the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Austro-Hungarian rule was taking over Bosnia and Herzegovina. Gavrilo and others were trying to stop it. The Serbian government thought that Austria-Hungary was getting ready for a war. July 28, 1914 is when Austria-Hungary went to war with Serbia. Eastern and Western Front Eastern Front The Russian army stormed into the German regions of East Prussia and Poland, but the German and Austrian forces stopped them in the Battle of Tannenberg in 1914. The attack on Germany's regions made them send their troops to the Eastern Front, which was a factor on why they lost the Battle of the Marne. Western Front August 4, 1914, German troops went to Belgium. They assaulted the city Liege and captured it by August 15. They used siege cannons and caused major destruction. They killed civilians and a priest who they claimed was trying to get civilians to have resistance. America and World War I America remained neutral, but German U-boats had sunk their ships. The Germans sunk a British ship called the Lusitania. This caused a lot of protest and really changed the opinion on Germany for Americans. In 1917, a $250 million bill was passed getting America ready for war. Woodrow Wilson declared war on Germany on April 2nd due to Germans sinking more of their ships. Treaty of Versailles Signed June 28, 1919, the Treaty of Versailles made peace with the Allies in Germany. The treaty said Germany was responsible for the war and they made them pay reparations and demilitarize their army. How it affected the world Millions of women went to work to support the soldiers and take the place of the soldiers who didn't come back. The chemicals used in World War I were so harmful to civilians and soldiers that, in 1925, the Geneva Convention was signed to make sure that chemical warfare was not used again. Part 2 Battles of World War I, Dog Heroes, and Interesting Facts First Battle of the Marne, September 6th to September 9th, 1914 The Germans were trying to get France under their control, but the Allied troops fought them and the German troops fled back to the north of the Ains River. Second Battle of the Marne, July 15th, 1918 Germany built up its army and launched an attack on French forces. The French were helped by American and British troops and they were able to defend against the Germans. The Allies would launch their attack three days later. Dog Heroes of World War I Sergeant Stubby Sergeant Stubby was a Bull Terrier mix who was with the 102nd Regiment in France. He was injured by a hand grenade thrown by a German soldier. He recovered and went back to fighting. He was also injured by mustard gas, but he recovered. He could hear the bullets before the soldiers could and would alert them when they needed to get cover. Stubby got promoted to Sergeant when he captured a German spy. Stubby was awarded the Humane Education Society Gold Medal and the Wound Stripe. Stubby died peacefully in his sleep in 1926. Satan the Wonder Dog Satan was a messenger dog who was running to deliver a message to the troops. The Germans saw him and fired, but he kept going. Satan's owner was calling to him, which made him speed up. Going in a zigzag pattern, he dodged the bullets until someone shot him in the leg. Another bullet hit him and he fell to the ground. He kept going and made it to the trenches. He delivered the messages. Interesting fact, 8.5 million soldiers died due to wounds or disease. Many dogs were working for the army as messenger dogs or search and rescue. Germans used flamethrowers. Christmas Eve, 1914, soldiers on the Western Front stopped fighting and sung carols. Christmas Day, troops along with two-thirds of the front called a truce. After the war, Poland, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania became independent. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more history videos. Have a great day.